Hey, what's up guys? In my last video, I went over the benefits of using chains as opposed to the wet, dry mixing knob uh, for a matter of uh, more control over your audio. And then I hinted that there was a way to uh, go about um, adding parallel effects in the session view. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that. It's just another way. It comes down to preference and it comes down to, you know, how visually you want to see things and uh, your workflow. There's many different kinds of workflow in uh, Ableton, especially in Ableton 10 with the ability to have uh, multiple groups, groups within groups. So uh, yeah, this is our little drum loop. We've got a single track for the sake of simplicity. Right, pretty dope. I want to go over to my session view, which I will see here. And uh, there is our drum loop. I want to create a track, a new track. Right click, create audio track. And I want the audio from this to be copied to this. It's not copied to there currently. So I have my uh, IO section in each of my channels. If you don't see that, you can click this guy right here. And I want audio from the first channel, this guy right here. And I want it pre effects, right? And I want to hit play, nothing happens, but I can see it there. So we, the trick is you actually have to monitor it in. So now we're monitoring and now it's a live channel. We can hear it, we can solo it, and we can confirm that there's nothing on this channel, but there's audio coming out of it, which is crazy, crazy voodoo stuff. But uh, anyway, that's uh, basically uh, the gist. And uh, from here we can create as many parallel channels as we want by selecting audio 2 and then hitting duplicate or uh, control D. We can duplicate or right click and then duplicate. You can have all these crazy awesome channels. All right, so let's add a, let's add a channel or like an effect and then mix it in. So what I want to do, what I usually do is I hit uh, solo and I'll go, you know, let's just do reverb. Reverb will set the wet all the way to 100%. Right, and you can see the discrepancy in volume. We'll just bring that up. Right, as, a, as an example here, we'll bring it all the way down to zero and we'll just play it and then bring the volume up. And then we have a effect there and what you do well what i do is uh actually i actually have it kind of quiet but i bring it up until i can barely hear it and then i just kind of leave it there uh, another trick is to bring it up until you can barely hear it and then bring it back down it's kind of like uh you know having you know multiple effects very minimally that accumulate into an awesome effect but yeah this is a uh, reverb channel so it uh, rename Reverb, right? And we have super duper control over it. And we can see it in our channel here. And when we're, when we're mixing, we can visually see it, which I think is pretty dope. Let's uh, do another one. Uh, let's add Redux, which inherently doesn't have a wet dry, but uh, we don't really need wet dry because we're doing things this way. Redux or downsampling or whatever you want to call it. So let's go uh, solo it. And uh, let's add a little bit more effect to this effect. Maybe like a really quick delay. And then some reverb. All right, the cool thing about... Um, downsampling and redux and stuff like that as it adds like some really cool stuff to the top end and uh, makes it kind of pop out more and it gives it more of like an old school kind of feel if that makes any sense here some ping pong delay maybe and uh yeah let's uh, engage that and then mix it in Right, super duper useful. I forgot a step. What you can do that's really dope is you can select all these, um, your original channel and uh, 
all the uh, channels that are kind of copies of it, right click and then group them. And then from there, you can uh, collapse them and continue making your track. And uh, the ones that are copies uh, are this uh, blue color uh, kind of thing as opposed to the orange. So you can easily kind of collapse them and uh, move on. You can have all of your things in one spot and you can mix. And you could, this could be like, uh, obviously rename this to drum bus with a bunch of S's. And that's that, right? And, you know, you can have a master effect on here and uh, all these other things. All right, now uh, let's continue just for fun. Let's do, let's do uh, some parallel stuff here. Let's add a gate. Right, and this one will be, I guess, a different kind of reverb. It's more of a gated reverb. Uh, let's pick Pro R. Mix is all the way at 100. Right, pretty cool. Let's add EQ8. Give it a roll out. I don't want the, the low end to accumulate. It just gives us a, a smaller room. So we have a big room with this reverb to kind of smudge it around. Then we have a small room, kind of like a, a bathroom or something like that. Who knows? And uh, yeah, from here, something I like to do. Give it a bit of volume with some ridiculous compression. And from here, it's more of a, a simple, less confusing way to uh, do some interesting side chaining with the uh, original signal here. So we can go input from any other channel. So I'll have this, and we'll just give it a listen. Right, kind of cleaned up, I guess. Right, so let's give that a listen. So this would be a small reverb. And uh, yeah, from here, you know, the sky is the, the limit, essentially. We'll just get rid of this one. So you have uh, all your sends here. You can see them visually. Uh, you can select them all. Oops. Turn them off. You know, you can have, uh, oops. You can have the small reverb and uh, this guy together, and you can pan them even. And you can visually see, yeah, let's bring this guy up so they're kind of more equal in volume. And this is mimics, I guess, a, a weird microphone kind of side cancellation thing, isoteric tube preamp from 1901 that Jack Sparrow used or something. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, you can see, again, you can see everything uh, super visually, and you can get super duper complicated. So I'm going to collapse this, create an audio track, and then have the external, the uh, audio from drum bus pre-effects. Right? In. And uh, yeah, we can do some cool stuff uh, with parallel compression this way. And yeah, the I guess the sky is the limit there. We can add some uh, crazy, crazy compression. Let's just give that a try. And we 
can have this as a, as another drum bus. And you can just bus upon bus, buses into buses. All the kids ride the school bus, things like that. Anyway, I hope this gives you enough uh, brain food for thought. Hope you guys learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.